Hello everyone, my name is Inez. You're welcome here to this video. I bless you all in Jesus' name. Today I want to bring you an amazing word, a word to remind you of who you are, a word to encourage you at this time that we all need to be encouraged, no matter what situation that we're in. So if this is for you, I pray that you're ready, you have ears to hear and hearts to receive. And I'm just going to pray now for Holy Spirit to come, who is our guide, who is our teacher, and to speak in Jesus' name. So Father, in Jesus' name, I just bless everybody who is here. We give you glory, God. We give you praise. I just pray, Holy Spirit, right now for your teaching, for your guidance, Lord, for ears to hear and hearts to receive these words that you're speaking to us at this time. So Holy Spirit, have your way in Jesus name. Amen. And may you be changed and go from glory to glory after you've heard this message. So this message is all about, you see, we're in a time of breakthrough. We're in a time of harvest. We're in a time where God is weighing things, the actions of people, our lives. But also, as we know from the word of God, the Bible talks about us being soldiers and that God is the God of armies. And I'm going to give you a scripture for that now in a moment. So when we go through challenges or, or trials, things that happen in life, we need Holy Spirit because you can't do things by yourself. You'll fail if you do it by yourself because you're going by your own head knowledge. So that's why we need each other. We need prayer. We need to be in the word and to listen to the word. And if you haven't got time to sit down and read your Bible, uh, I mean, you can listen to the word online, on YouTube, through your ear pods, when you're walking, when you're in the gym, whatever it is, just listen to the word. Because the more of the word that comes inside of you in your spirit, man, you will change and it will help you. And you go from glory to glory. Plus the word does say, you know, to meditate on the word day and night, going over scripture, thinking about scripture, speaking scripture, because that is how you have power. So this, this message is all about you being a conqueror. This message is all about reminding you of who you are, that we're not to have a victim mentality, we're not ones who fail, we're not ones who give up, we're not ones who look back on the past, you see we all have our story, our story. we all have things that we've been through, we all have different challenges, we all have different seasons, but God is still the same, he doesn't change. So there's victory, there's breakthrough. But you see, you need to understand that you have an enemy. But you don't dwell on that all the time. You see, that can happen and that's where it's amazing where we have prayer partners. Someone to pray for us. Someone to intercede on our behalf. But also, to remind you that with your words, no matter the storm, the trial, the test, you continue to speak. And you continue to do what the word of God says, which is pray for your enemies, which is keep going, march forward, don't give up, be strong, be courageous. There's victory. So you have to understand that. So just like when there was the storm and Jesus was saying, why are you afraid? So you can be going through a certain thing. A season, whether it's in your family, your marriage, your ministry, your workplace, your school, your college, at home, whatever it may be, you're going through. You're going through it. There's always an answer and Jesus is with you, even when you think you're by yourself. So God is always talking. He'll be showing you things. He'll be showing you what to do. So it's important that you're prayerful. You're not going to get anywhere if you're going to sit down and cry and through a situation or given out, you need to pray and you need to intercede. You need to decree and declare a thing and also have someone to pray and intercede with you or for you. So to remind you 
You're in an army. You are in God's army. You see me now, but in the spirit realm, God sees me a different way. So there's times that when you pray, or whether God gives you a dream, or he'll show you if you're praying with someone, you might see yourself a different way. Now, I've seen myself a different way, like a warrior, like in an army, completely different to the way I look now. So that's the way God sees you. He sees you in his army, a warrior, just like Gideon. So he's standing there when you read all about Gideon in the Old Testament. And when the angel comes to him and he hides. What are you coming to me for? I'm so scared. And the angel's looking at him saying, stand up, mighty man of valor. You brave man of God. And he's thinking, wait, who, what, me? You want me to do this? So you need to understand who you are, no matter what season, what test, what trial you're going through. God sees you as a victor, not a victim. So that's why we don't live in the past. We don't dwell on things. When we go through things, you take up the sword, which is the word of God, and you pray, you intercede, you decree and declare a thing. And then when you're praying with whoever you're praying with or if someone's praying for you, they'll intercede. And you begin to see things. God begins to show you things. So there's more power. When two or three. Or a group of you pray. So you're a conqueror. Let me just give you this scripture. Um, in Jeremiah 15, 16. I think it's amazing. It says your words were to me a joy. The rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by your name. Yahweh. The God of armies. And then, as you know, in scripture, the Bible talks about you being a soldier and having to endure hardness as a good soldier. People don't want to hear that. You want to hear, oh, everything's going to be great. Yeah, peace all the way. Nothing's going to happen. No, you're going to go through things. Things happen. So we know when does great things said, breakthrough, victory, all of these amazing things you have an enemy and you need to know your enemy. So you're not tossed to and fro. You're focused. You're staying strong in the Lord. Remember in Joshua, have I not commanded you? Stay strong. Be courageous. It's like sometimes, you know, people can be lonely. Sometimes people can go through a hard time. Loss, pain, all these things. But God still says, stay strong. You might have your own personal struggle. But God is saying that you stay strong. How is he saying this? He's saying it through his word. The word of God is for you and for me. It's a personal relationship between you and Jesus. It's not any rituals. It's not anything you have to do. It's not you have to do this and that and you'll get an answer. No, God hears you when you speak. So once you wake up in the morning, good morning, Lord. All through your day, he is right there. He hears you. He sees you. You have angels on assignment there with you, helping you. God shows me this all the time. Whether it's through visions, dreams, praying or whatever it is. So he's always shown you things. He's always speaking. So you're a warrior. You're a conqueror. You're not a victim. You're not to cry under your duvet over something somebody said or getting offended or someone doesn't like your page or something or someone didn't acknowledge it or something's wrong or something hasn't happened you're not to sit there crying or dwelling on the past or someone who's left you you're to move on and this is a struggle that many people have is letting go of the past of maybe the way they were a problem they have you're carrying it but you won't give it to God you're to give it to God and that could be anything that you're struggling with at the minute you're not to struggle you see the work has already been done on the cross. That grace is there for you. You're just carrying it. But you don't say it. God, I'm having a hard time with this. I'm having a problem with this. Um, I'm not saying this right, Lord, and I don't know how to do this. Can you help me? And he'll show you. But then there's times you really need to pray. You really need to intercede for certain things. And you have to continue in prayer. That's why we need each other. The body of Christ, we need 
each other. So don't forget you're born to dominate, to conquer. Let me break that down a bit. To live, to shine. Your light in darkness. So that's like when the enemy uses people or something to happen. You're the light. And that's why the enemy hates you. That's why he can't stand you and he uses people to hurt. And that can be people in your family. That can be trying to break things. So that's why you have to stand with your full armour on. So you're an overcomer. You're victorious. Victory. Victor. Conqueror. Brave. Courageous. Warrior. Am I making this up? No, it's in the word of God. This is you. It's not just a few select people. No, it's you. And God says, I chose you because I loved you. And not many people understand that, that God loves them. That you're a son. That you're a daughter of Jesus Christ. And how do you know this? Through the word of God. And also to have an encounter. It's okay Listen to the Bible or reading the Bible and saying, okay, that's great. Or having people to pray for you. But to have an encounter changes everything. Where you encounter God. Does that happen? Yes, it does. You see, you go deeper in the things of God when you spend time with him. All you have to do is talk. All you have to do is surrender. All you have to do is change your ways. And the grace of God is there for you. So when you completely give yourself to Jesus, watch the doors that open for you. Watch the things that happen for you. And the grace, he gives more grace when you need it. You know, you're to take captive the enemy. So he's there. The work has already been done on the cross. He doesn't want you to know that. So that's why he wants you to cry. He wants you to cower. He wants you and to give up. And to not know what's happening. But once you know who you are. That's where you're fighting. And he has to push back. He has to give up. So in Romans 8.37. And all these things. You are more than a conqueror. Through Christ. Through him who loves you. So Jesus is not on the cross. He's alive. He died. He rose again. Jesus Christ is the son of God and he left. He gave us Holy Spirit. So the spirit of God is within you. While you're here on this earth, that is the power that you have. So you're an overcomer. You have the answer. And the other thing the enemy wants, which is the devil, he wants people to fight. He wants people to break up. He wants churches to break up. He wants groups to split up. He wants people to gossip behind your back. He wants to hurt your feelings. He wants you to get offended. He wants you to fail. But will you do that? Will you listen? So all these things he'll try to get into you. To damage you. To damage your soul. Maybe through abuse. Through hurt. Slanderous words. Betrayal. You know like a Judas in your life. A Judas will always walk with you. Just like Judas walked with Jesus. So there'll always be something that will happen. But importantly... How you are with others is important also. And what you do in your spare time. So any sin in your life, any hindrance, any blockage there, you need to stop that. So like I said, the grace of God is there for you because that can also hinder things. So just be mindful of that. Repentance is a big thing. People don't want to hear that, but it's, it's big and you need to change your ways. So in 1 John 5, 4, if anyone is born of God, he overcomes the world. And in this, the victory that has overcome the world, your faith, your faith will rise. You will see God working on your behalf. You'll see the angels making the way. You'll see God using people to bless you. So you're an overcomer. So once you overcome the things of the world, the challenges, all of these things, the Little foxes that spoil the vine. Get them out of the way. And things will move quicker. You will be fighting. Spiritually in the spirit realm. Evil spirits working through people. Or through situations or whatever it is. 
in 1 Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be to God who gives you victory through your Lord Jesus Christ. So we see what Jesus has done on the cross. And he said, it's finished. And then Jesus said, you're victorious. Here's your weapon. Put on the full armour. Speak my word. Decree and declare. Pray. Intercede. Change the atmosphere by your words. So what it's like somewhere you walk into a room and everyone's in a bad humour. Everyone's giving out. Things are going wrong during the day. And you come in smiling. You have the answers. Of course people will hate you. Of course that will happen. Because you're light. You're probably the only one saved in your family. You're probably the only one trying to do different things in your family. In your life. And there's blockages all the time. Well you need to break that. That's why we need prayer. That's why we need pastors and prophets. To help us. We need each other. But you need to pray. You need to decree and declare things. So you're an overcomer. You're a warrior. You have weapons. Endure hardness as a soldier in the army of God. In 1 John 4, 4, little children, you are from God and you have overcome. Greater is he that is in you than he that is of the world. Don't forget the spirit of God dwells within you. And don't forget Joshua. 1 a this book of the law, literally the word. We're not under the law, we are under grace. But the word of God shall not depart from you, from your lips. Meditate in a day and night. For then, if you read the scripture and meditate on it, for then you will make your way prosperous. You will have good success. How? If you listen to the word. If you obey the word, you overcome quicker. So in Joshua, he says, be strong, be courageous. You know, there's times you might have to wait a while for something. I can testify to that. Waiting a long time for certain things. But you know that you're going to get there. So you have battles here and there. But this message is all about victory. This message is all about breakthrough. Remember, you go through things, different seasons. So always remember to be merciful with others. Always remember, sometimes there's people you have to let go. People can hold you back. You can be around people who are angry, who are gossipers, who drag you down, who are jealous of you. You need to come away from people. And sometimes that means walking alone. If it's for a season, a moment, a little while. But God will always bring the right connections, the right people into your life. So in Genesis, all the way back at the start, talks about God said, let's make man in our image. In our likeness. Let him have dominion over the fish of the sea. I could go on. Over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth. Let him keep it. That's me paraphrasing, jumping. But God said, let us put the man there to keep it, to look after it. What did I just read there? He's given you power and dominion. This is not just Adam. This is you. Over every creeping thing. And God said, be blessed and multiply, be fruitful. And all of these other things you can read on. That's Genesis. You can move on to the New Testament where Jesus talks about. What? You have power over scorpions, evil spirits. In the name of Jesus Christ, the name of Jesus Christ is powerful. He said, I've given you power. What are you afraid of? Luke ten nineteen. Jesus said, Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents, scorpions, over a small bit of the enemy, a little bit of the enemy, a bit of the devil. No. He said, over all of the enemy. Your pastor or your prophet? No. You. You have power. Over every situation. Nothing shall. 
by any means hurt you, child of God. You need to understand that. So yeah, there's times that we can be drained, spiritually drained. Yeah, there's times you feel like giving up. That's you in your body. That's the human. But you need to understand you're not of this world. I need to remind you of that. You have power. You have dominion. You're not of this world. You need to understand who you are in the spirit, spirit realm. That when you stand and you say, no, that is enough. I speak a change in this situation. You know, there's times you have hordes of people either gossiping about you, laughing at you, trying to stop something, jealous of you. They don't like this, that and the other. That's the way it is. That's people. People get offended. People leave you. People come and go. Sometimes God will say, get away from these people and you have to drop things. You know, fight the good fight. You need to just keep going. It only pains for a little while. You're walking through the valley of the shadow of death. But mm, there's breakthrough. And don't ever label yourself something. You see, the world can label yourself. Oh, you have this condition. Or you have this. Or you're not able to do this. Or you're not able for this position. Look, God can put you in a place in a second. He can open doors for you that no one else can. He can bless you so much that you'd just be shocked. So don't miss any opportunities that God is doing for you. And don't mind the little foxes that spoil the vine that try to hurt you. Because nothing shall hurt you. In Romans 6.14 For sin shall not have dominion over you. But you can let it if you want. You have what you allow. It's like when I was sharing in a video before. Just say if you're with someone and... They're cheating on you all the time and you take them back and they're cheating on you again and you take them back and they're cheating on you again and again and again you're crying all the time. Well, whose fault is that? I know that sounds a bit harsh, but if you keep going back, it's just like the scripture that says, you know, a dog keeps returning to its vomit. That means someone keeps returning to the same thing over and over again. Like, what do you expect? So if you, you're trying something or you're putting your hand to something, you're saying, I can't, I can't, I can't. Well, then you can't. So change the way you're talking. Change your mind. It doesn't happen like that. You know, it'll take time. But that's why you fight the good fight of fate, brother and sister. Psalm 18.2. The Lord is your rock. I'm going to turn this around to you. The Lord is your rock. The Lord is your fortress. The Lord is your deliverer. Your God is, he is your strength. He is your buckler. I could go on. He's the horn of your salvation. He's your high tower. He's your everything. He's your friend. He's the one who listens to you when no one else cares. He's the one that opens the doors that people try to shut. He's the one who blesses you. He's the one who pays your bills. He's the one who brings people to comfort you. He's the one to shield you. Can you imagine the amount of times that God has actually saved your life? If you look the whole time in your life. I have too many times that I could have died in my lifetime. Specific ones where I'm like that was only God. God saved me from that. Where I could have died. I could have been raped. I could have been killed. I could go on. And God protected me. Psalm 44.5 Though you will push down our enemies through thy name, we'll tread them under that rise up against us. God will tread them. He will send angels to push back your enemy. You see, people will be jealous of you. People will try to hurt you. Even your friends, even your family. I know that sounds difficult, but it's like when you're succeeding, they don't want to see you going higher it's like if you're changing it's like just say for an example you're around all these friends everything's great you're friends for years for an example and all of a sudden you want to go this way or you want to move to this country or you want to start this business and they don't like it because they want you in the little bubble this could be friends could be family workmates whatever it is and then you'll see a little bit of a a battle going on Maybe they'll walk away, they'll gossip about you, they'll hurt you, they'll betray you, something. It's what happens. 
where you need to let certain things go. This is a time of breakthrough, victory. God is going to do it in a moment. He's going to do it in a moment. The open doors, it's just going to happen. The wait is over. But the one thing is important that you can't do. And that's something that you can't give up. So when you look at Joshua, when you look at Gideon, the angels look at you and say, why, why are you crying? Because when they see you, it's like you're a warrior. You're a conqueror. Do you understand who you are? You're a child of God. You're marked. You're sealed with the Spirit of God. This is not a happy, clappy message. This is the word. This is truth. This is grace. This is what God says about you. Not just a few. About you. And it is a great message because it is truth. So it's not just to make you feel good. It's truth. So your problem is, is doubt. Your problem is unbelief. Your problem is, like me, you're looking at me in the natural now. But God sees different. So you might look at your situation and think, oh, but how am I supposed to get out of this debt? How am I supposed to stop this? How is this meant to change? What's your problem? You need to believe. What does Jesus say when I come back? Will, it, will I find faith? You know, you hear people saying, oh yeah, I have loads of faith. I have great faith. I'm brilliant. I'm great at this. Then a trial happens and it's like, oh, Lord, help me. We all do that at times. But then when fate rises up in you, you say, no, hang on a second. I'm not going to tolerate this. I'm not going to stand for this. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, name above all names, the name Jesus. If you're scared of anything, anything happening at nighttime, scary dreams, shadows in your room, things happening, your child has gone wayward, someone's not talking to you. Who has the power? Do you, cry, do you cry to God? God says, why are you crying to me? I've already made the way for you. Just like he said to Moses. Maybe you pray with your brother or sister. Get them to pray for you. But you stand. And you stand and you fight. And don't give up. That's why I love testimonies. I love stories of people who, who keep going. They don't give up. Whether they're struggling through something. They've fallen 50 times and everyone gossips about them in. They write stories about them, make videos about them and everyone trashes them. But the person keeps getting up and keeps going and keeps going. That's amazing. So don't let anyone ruin your testimony. This is a time of victory and breakthrough. So I decree and declare over you now, child of God. Victory in every situation. Breakthrough in every situation. What am I doing? I'm speaking life. I'm speaking truth. I'm speaking the word of God. And that's what Jesus said to do. In his name, Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare great blessings to come upon you. Every plan of the enemy to be exposed, to catch fire, to stop in Jesus name. Lord, that you're sending them angels to push back the enemy. I decree and I declare blessings that are yours to come to you in Jesus Christ's name. No more delay, no more blockage, no more tears. You rise up, child of God, and you stand and you live this life that you are called to live. And no one is going to stop you, only you, if you listen to the enemy. So don't listen to the lies of the enemy. I decree and I declare, Lord, breakthrough, victory, truth, blessings, Every problem to be solved right now in Jesus name. Healing in bodies. Every bad dream. Every enemy that's thwarting your sons and daughters in their dream or at night time. I cancel the plan of the enemy now. Lord, send your angels, God. Do mighty miracles in their life, Lord. Change their story in Jesus name. And you have to say, I receive it and I believe it in the name of Jesus. And you speak them scriptures and you stand and you say it. You see what I've just done? That's warrior. That's talk. Just look at fights that have occurred in the past on history channels. 
You know, there's some who cower back. There's some say, no, do you know, I'm, I'm not getting involved in this. I'm just going to hide behind the rock like Gideon. Or you take up your weapons, your sword, and you run forward. Just like David and Goliath. You run towards it. You don't sit there and build your tent and cry. No. You rise up and let your faith rise and speak in Jesus' name. But because I have spoken, that's it. It's done in Jesus' name. If you have a group, someone to pray for, or if you want prayer, you just email me. And you pray, you intercede for your country, for your family, for your leaders in your country, for things that are going on in the world. But stand in the gap. God is looking for his church to rise up. Where's the church? What building is that? Show me where. No, it's you. It's you. So you are blessed. You are victorious. You are royalty. Victory. Victorious. Dominate. Multiply. Success. Prosperity. Healing. Life. Truth. Strength. Energy to you. In Jesus name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And God is good. And we give you thanks. And we give you praise because Almighty God is real. He is alive. He hears you. He is with you. He will not leave you. In Jesus name. <coughs> praise the Lord. So I bless you. And tell someone your story. Tell someone your testimony. Share Jesus with others. So I bless you in Jesus name. And thank you for listening. Thank you for being part of this ministry in Jesus name.